comment I know, you, you you have you this is what's called ambush journalism and i disrespect you for that as well so thank you, you, you and goodbye the ritual? that's none of your damn business oh our story begins in northern california over a hundred years ago when locals began to spread rumors of bizarre occult rituals being conducted in the ancient redwood groves of Sonoma County. As the decades passed, it became clear. These incredible stories had a basis in truth, and their source was a 2,700-acre private club known as the Bohemian Grove. Then in a time period between the mid-1970s and the early 1990s, Scores of reporters attempted to infiltrate the Grove. All attempts were unsuccessful. Grove security identified them, threw them out for trespassing, or in some cases, had the local police arrest them. To many, it seemed, the Grove's secrets would never become public. All of that changed on July 15, 2000, when we ripped aside the veil of secrecy and were successfully able to penetrate the Bohemian Grove on their high holy day and videotape the cremation of care ritual. Our infiltration is chronicled in my documentary film, Dark Secrets Inside Bohemian Grove. A British documentary film company, World of Wonder, also covered our investigation. In the weeks that followed, Alex streamed his footage on his website and released it as a sell-through video. Everywhere I looked, the internet was aflame with news of the daring raid. As the news spread across the planet that the Bohemian Grove had been blown wide open and that their secrets were public, the people were amazed. They were amazed to learn that many U.S. presidents and British prime ministers, German chancellors, the Hollywood elite, the heads of business and academia, Federal Reserve chairmen were traveling to the Grove each year and that presidents had been going there since the turn of the last century in 1900. They were shocked by each new revelation of ritualistic depravity. This film is about what we've learned in the five years since we infiltrated the Grove. <laughs> And it's about the response that we've gotten from Grove members, the press, and even local activists in the area who've been protesting the Grove for over 25 years. Finally, we learned that the Grove was only one chapter in a larger, worldwide secret society hell-bent on bringing in a one-world government. What would the people do if they knew that the majority of the leaders in the corporate world as well as government were deep occultists. Before the year 2000 and our successful penetration of the Grove, the mainstream media denied that rituals were indeed taking place there and said that elite from all over the world were simply meeting in secret to have a good time. After the footage we had shot of the cremation of care ritual aired first in England and then in the United States on national TV, the mainstream media changed their tune. The San Francisco Chronicle had previously refused to report on the Grove. After our infiltration, they wrote as many as five articles a year detailing the bizarre activities that were taking place inside the Grove, including the fact that top presidential advisor Karl Rove had tapped Arnold Schwarzenegger inside the Grove to run for governor on California's recall ballot. Even the vaunted New York Times reported on the Bohemian Grove, but attacked us for sneaking in. The New York Post was one of many national publications to report on all of the homosexual activities going on at the Grove. The Post reported in its page six gossip column that Chad Savage, gay porno star, was quote, servicing the moguls at the Grove. But a disturbing theme ran through the body of the reportage. 
Okay, it's true. The elite meet behind closed doors, and there's gay porn stars and gay prostitutes being shipped in like beluga caviar. What's the big deal? Let's just let them have their privacy. And so they have lakeside chats calling for world government. Really, they're not bad people. The people we should watch are those that are exposing it. They're really dangerous weirdos. Of all the hit pieces that we've been victims of, the worst was conducted on national television by Brian Lamb, the director of C-SPAN, and some shifty-eyed professor they dug up who appeared to be flashing Masonic hand signs while he tried to eviscerate our character by implying that there wasn't even a ritual at all. Why, Alex Jones claims they do this ritual. Meanwhile, the Bohemian Grove has gone public to the newspapers admitting they conduct rituals. They, the, overnight, they had a, a gentleman on by the name of Alex Jones who has a, a talk show in Texas, I think, and it's heard in communities around the United States. And he was talking about the Bohemian Grove Club, as if that's where it all happens. That's where all the decisions are made. There are thousands of people go there, and there's some kind of a ceremony surrounding an owl and all that. Have you followed this at all? Yes, I, I have, even though the show is on past my bedtime. But uh, Alex Jones has been talking about this for, uh, for quite a while. The Bohemian Grove, of course, is a privately owned Redwood Grove up in Sonoma County, north of San Francisco, where every summer there is a get-together of uh, uh, the wealthy and, uh, and well-placed, all, uh, all male, uh, who uh, get together for general cavorting, socializing, lectures, symposia, and so on in an atmosphere that is completely removed from public scrutiny. Uh, Alex Jones and some others have uh, suggested for a long time that there are all sorts of nefarious rituals that go on. Human sacrifices that were uh, being committed by the elite who uh, attend these gatherings. A lot of things people feel are organized behind the scenes with the Bilderbergers, the Trilateral Commission, the Council on Foreign Relations, the, Mas the Masons, you can keep going down the list, and you, the Illuminati, One World Government, New World Order, Skull and Bones. You've got more information on that than I do, so call us at the top of the hour and talk to our guests about that, and we'll try to sort it out. Define Illuminati. The Illuminati were a small uh, quasi-Masonic group founded in Central Europe in 1776. There was a surprising development in the summer of 2005. A Bohemian Grove employee decided to videotape some of the activities in the Grove and to give us the footage. The footage you're seeing was shot on a tiny digital camera, so the quality isn't the best, but the images are powerful. The individual that gave us this footage asked that we not release their name. Our source was able to confirm what we had seen in internal Bohemian Grove documents and annals, that the elite of the elite attend the Grove. Our source personally saw New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson in attendance, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, the famous newsman Walter Cronkite, and countless other luminaries. Without giving away the identity of our source, we can tell you this. The most elite encampment within the Grove is Mandalay. Other members of the Grove were not even allowed to approach within a hundred yards of this compound swarming with secret service, valets, private French cooks, and private security men. In the compartmentalized system of the New World Order, Mandalay is an elite within an elite at the very top of the pyramid's capstone. Things have changed in the last few years at the all-male encampment. Since its founding in 1872, no females have been allowed in, but under pressure they've allowed women some jobs in parking cars and in the kitchens in special cloistered areas. Our source is male. We'll call him Kyle. He reported to us that it was a constant irritant inside the grove being asked by old men if he, quote, slept around and wanted to have some fun. During one of the festival's revelries, known as Gypsy Jazz, they paused to thank the author of the music. 
You talk about what a wonderful jazz player he was, but that sometimes he did hang around with women, and the crowd moves with disgust. He disappeared from time to time, often with women. <laughs> He thought stealing was fun. The Grove's own internal annals brag that the Manhattan Project for the plan to create the A-bomb was hatched inside this building known as the Chalet. The Strategic Defense Initiative, better known as Star Wars, was also the brainchild of Grove members and was born inside the Chalet. of the Cold War. Top Soviet dignitaries traveled to the Bohemian Grove for secret meetings with the heads of the U.S. government as well as corporate leaders. Our source worked at the Grove in the summer of 2004 and the summer of 2005, and he was able to obtain two program covers for the cremation of care ceremony as well as a 2005 membership list, which reads like a who's who of U.S. and European elite. Former President Jimmy Carter, former President George Herbert Walker Bush, President Bush, Henry Kissinger, George Schultz, the list goes on and on. This is a video still of the sign at the entrance to the path to the Hillbilly Club where President Bush stays. Look at that happy little devil with his forked tail dancing and smiling and those sharp little teeth. Oh, it's so Christian. But again, President Bush had such a Christian name in Skull and Bones, Magog, or Satan's war leader. The Grove is dominated by Republicans, the supposed party of Christian conservative family values. But the Grove has its share of high-powered Democrats as well. It's also important to note that the Grove itself was founded in 1872 by West Coast journalists and that the National Press Club adopted the iconography of the Grove for its great seal. There are three major icons used in the cremation of care ritual. Moloch, the owl idol, the curved staff carried by the high priest, and the eternal flame lamp, the Arabian style lamp which the priest uses to ignite his torch, which he then uses to burn the human effigy care. Here are video stills of the effigy after it has been burned on the altar in the morning. Many researchers of the global elite believe that real sacrifices are going on at the Grove. When I filmed the ceremony in 2000, I saw no evidence of this. It looked like an effigy, and the Druid priests were easily able to pick it up and take it up the steps to the platform. Our inside source informs us that there are actually four effigies used in the ceremony. One brought in on the back of the wagon, another that's used behind the trees, another that's brought across by the Grim Reaper to the steps of the idol, and still another effigy that is placed on a black altar before Moloch, the demon god, and burned. And this is the first and only time that video has ever been shot inside of the owl idol. can now confirm that the owl is metal with a stone facing. 